Here's the mayor's house. Okay, uh, now, what was the cat's name exactly? Uh, it was, it was Maxine. Yes, Maxine. I have to talk to Maxine. <laughs> That's so. our most important quest. Yes. Mayor Cecil is waiting for you inside. Good. Fire arrowhead. No need, but thank you. I'll talk to you as Welcome well. Welcome to the town hall of Cecil. Mayor Cecil is waiting for you inside. Thanks. Hey, hey. Maxine. Oh, golly <laughs> gosh. One who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecil with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. Well, an interesting character Maxine seems to be at the very least. <laughs> but where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Tell me a bit about yourself. Brr, I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands of most exquisite varieties. Maxine rhymes with queen, after all, and dearest, that is hardly a coincidence. Does guess... it rhyme with me, queen? <laughs> I don't I really... Yes. Queen and Maxine doesn't... Well, maybe if you put something else in front, but well, she is a cat, so... No, I, I don't know about her intelligence level exactly, but... Well, about... I'd like to ask you some future questions first, though, before talking about unsinkable Sam. But of course, darling. Be my guest. Tell me about Cecile. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too parochial for one of my more urbane tastes. But one has to make do, hasn't one? The fresh sea air does go to great lengths to invigorate one's spirit, that much I'll admit. And it is rather jolly to watch the ships sail in, laden with all kinds of exotic wares, full of the little treats the mayor likes to spoil me with. Darling man, he dotes on me so. <laughs> She's so spoiled. Yes, I do understand why she might not be exactly that interested in uh, uh, Unsinkable Sam, a cat from yeah. the pirate ship and all. Uh, oh dear, don't you fear the undead? Heavens forbid. No, fear is rather too strong a term there, hunter dearest. The predator's instinct is a trait we share, you and I. And though those rancid ramblers may not be quite as easy to put to the claw as mice are, I assure you, they are just as easily outwitted. Well, that that I can agree with. Well, um, have do you know the unsinkable Sam, mayhap? Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and <laughs> who can blame him? The feelings, well, it's rather mutual, actually. Hmm. But that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. Yeah. Yes, that's the problem. She even likes Unsinkable Sam, but he doesn't have anything. No, uh, not a mayor's cat or anything of a like, so... Uh, Poor so, guy. Yeah. So, so, man has to always have some money on him. Some fortunes even if they are cats <laughs> yes most apparently i guess mice wouldn't be enough because maxine can hunt herself too and all at the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel i can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally what if we were to have kittens he and i they'd jolly well starve wouldn't they with an alley cat for a papa <laughs> what <laughs> Would you couldn't they? just hunt mice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the question is, would they? Wouldn't if you had born those kitties here in the mayor's house, you think that the mayor would just be like, nope. Those kitties, like, you have already everything you need to take care of the kitties when you live in the mayor's house. If it was, like, you didn't have this sort of a place, maybe then. But, you know... Like, if she really born kitties here, <laughs> would you would you really think that the mayor wouldn't take care of them? Uh, I 
at all. I think she thinks she's a human. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I guess so. I guess so, that is indeed the truth. And then they would be going and living together somewhere else and all. Yeah, <sighs> gotta leave home when you go get yes. married. She's just a princess. As one of the humans here. Oh dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standards. <laughs> mite of standards? I'll take my leave. <laughs> so, we know that the uh, unseekable Sam gotta, gotta go and get some uh, money. We have yep. been asked by Unsinkable Sun, the Toronto Cat to How do cats get money? I don't know. We learned from Maxine that she doesn't want to spend her life with a cat who may not be able to provide for her kittens. <sighs> oh dear. Well, I guess we'll meet the mayor next. Hello. I assume you are the mayor. What? Oh, it's you. Come closer then. Closer? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes, hello, Source Hunter. Our city welcomes you. Hello, and uh, thank you for the welcome. Tell me about the issues in Saisio. What? Well, there is some issues in Saisio, correct? Oh, you mean Saisio? <laughs> Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and by Source Magic no less weren't enough. We're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. What did you hear me say? What does I see all rhyme <laughs> with that you thought that I said that you were so insulted by? I don't know. I don't know maybe either. We, maybe we don't need to know. Maybe. Maybe you're correct. But I'm just like questioning this. I guess the portrait there is the young mayor. Looks a bit same. Yeah. The young dead have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. That's not to mention that at the top of this whole caboodle, there's rumors of some new religious sect or cult or some such, sticking its tendrils into the innocent, seven-fearing folks of Saisu. Yes, I think we met some of them. And, uh, <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a magic relic I rather foolishly sought. A weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. Staff of Pergamon? Well, what is uh, this This about Staff of Pergamon? What of what now? Oh, you're speaking gibberish. Um, you just <laughs> mentioned the Staff of Pergamon. Ah, you mean the Staff of Pergamon. Yes, yes. I was expecting a shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was this very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through means somewhat, atypical to a government official. Mm -hmm. I, I got you what you mean. Cecil proved an old fool, though, for the merchant slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands. And I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. Well, maybe. But what do you know about the staff itself? The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in the weapons of war. I know use of the material to be forbidden, but I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Well, tell me about the merchant you bought the staff from. His name is Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter. A merchant ship still docked at the Sicil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved if you don't mind. Well, um, when we are investigating this Jake Counselor's murder, tell me about it. Jake murdered? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, now I recall. Indeed. I could hardly believe it myself. The Council and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but old squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. I think you may have some memory problems. 
and hearing problems. Maybe. Just saying this just to myself, Jerry. <laughs> Most of the townsfolk are certain Jake's wife, Esmeralda, is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Ferrell was always a bit um, suggestive. But I've never had cause to suspect her of violence. Still, one never knows for sure. Well, do tell me about this uh, Duke of Ferrell. An all right bloke, apart from all this Esmeralda nonsense. The whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sicil is to spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor. Hmm. Suspicious. Though, probably it means that their relationship as Esmeraldas and Jake's wasn't very good, but... Yeah. I talked with Esmeralda after this. Yeah. Let's go there after we have explored the mayor's house. Yeah. Mm. Well, do tell me about these undeads in the Sicil. What? The undead? Yes, for the past two years those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated this city. With all but one trade route overrun, Sicil's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. Well, can you tell me more about the rival on sex? Well, I... I do believe that's something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago, <laughs> Source Hunter. <laughs> I was but thinking I that if, it's almost... If you really don't know, <laughs> yeah. I'd be remiss if I didn't at least explain the basics. <laughs> I know it might have sounded like sex, but I was trying to say the cult sex. I know. Just but... getting on our <sighs> accent. Yes. Ah, you see... When a lady and a fellow find each other rather nice, well, <sighs> rather more than nice, they occasionally... <laughs> well, they... <sighs> You're bad at this. Yes, um, that is a poor explanation about sex, <laughs> I might say. Oh, this is nonsense. I'm the mayor, for the seventh sake. I can't be bothered to chat all day about the birds and the bees when Sicil's on the siege by orcs, undead, and cultists. Well, would you want to tell me about the cult? This would be something I would then want to be saying and asking, but fine. <laughs> <sighs> Do you know if you would happen to have any work for a trial of sailors, by the way? No, no. All my clothes are in fine condition, thanks. I've been going to the same tailor for years. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad to hear your clothes are totally fine. Tell me about yourself then, on the other hand. My elf? What elf? Oh, myself. I am Cecil, mayor of Sicil, and husband of the stately Cecilia. I've been the mayor here for decades, and I'm quite eager to see Sicil through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult times indeed. Well, can you tell me more about your library? Can we visit there? That depends. What kind of berries are you interested in, exactly? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I didn't say berries, but the uh, library, but... Ah, the library. Yes, yes, you must have a visit. It's the gem of Sicil. Would you like to have a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. Oh, I didn't ask about Maxine yet, but sure, sounds interesting. Marvelous. Follow me, then. And we can talk about Maxine yes. later. Yes. Soon. Soon. What? Oh, yes. This library is the jewel in Sicil's crown. The beacon of culture and learning in our fair city. Good. My Victoria has every volume you could possibly imagine. And she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her brilliant brain. Good. I'm sure that we will love to investigate this future. Yes. Victoria's come a long way from that little bundle of claws and teeth I adopted so long ago. Ah, it brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among her beloved books. What? Oh, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs now. Please introduce yourself, 
I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. Well, uh, let me just see what trade no might you have before that. <laughs> Nine inch nails, then just some equipment, a raw meat for some reason, gold. Well, goodbye. For now, we shall return with Maxine, or Maxine questions. The Encyclopedia Demonium. I know it by heart. Hello, Jahan. Omnes autem mali demones quum. Quum. What? What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga, the protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Sysiel. We are no boatmen of Sysiel. Good sir. I am a mage myself, so that you know, and a source hunter uh, as well. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken, for you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. Mm -hmm. No, a source hunter, that is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Hmm, why would you want to join forces then? Why, simply because you hunt source, and I, Jehan, hunt demons. You are aware, of course, that quite often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Yes. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. This is a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let there be strength in cunning, yes but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you, the might of the magician's mastermind. I would like to know what class you exactly are then, what type of magician. Yes, the yeah, I don't know, because I didn't take him. Mm, you didn't decide to take him, and I'm not sure if we should, considering we already... Well, you have some magic and I have magic. Of course, yeah. The... Ranger or uh, was she Ranger? My daughter uh, does fit into a group pretty well considering she is very different. However, I specifically would like someone who is especially a melee person. Yeah. I can be in melee, yes, considering I do like that too as a battle mage, but. Yeah. I think there was uh, the one in Tavern yeah. was someone who is more tanky. Yeah. But because it does make more sense that I have my daughter rather than him on the other hand, on the other hand, on my companion, and maybe you should then have the other one. Maybe. On one condition, that on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their propositions. Give me your word on this, and I'll weave you spells. Hmm. It would be interesting to, of course, see how, what kind of a guy he is, but can we actually just say to them that, hey, leave, and so on? I don't know, because I I just didn't take him and I haven't tried. Hmm. Well, maybe, well, I still think that he isn't the most fitting to our group, so... Maybe not. Even though I would be interested to find out. Maybe we should go and try to pick up the other guy first. And then if we meet even others that we could be picking along. Then then another thing. Because isn't it still that there's only four of us? Not more? Yeah, yeah. I think it's four. Yeah, so do I. So I don't like to make promises I may not be able to keep. So, unfortunately, I must decline your offer. I don't like to make promises I may not be able to keep. So I must decline your offer. I concur. Some temptations just cannot be resisted. Of course. Yes, well, I, that is fitting for you. I want you. to make deal with devils. That is very fitting for you, for sure. Fitting for other player. It oh. says for me. 
Oh, simple souls. Oh, doomed spirits. What tangled webs you'd weave. But I won't be a fly to be caught in them. Be gone. Reflect. And if you should see the light, I will be here in the library. For now, you are not worthy of my devotion. That is all okay, but I would the like to see if you have anything to sell. Have you come to your senses? Have you changed your mind? Are you ready to join forces? No, but I want to see if you have anything to sell. Well, he has only one healing potion and one resurrect scroll. Even if she, he does have a backpack, which is pretty valuable, but... But still. Hey, who may you be? Victoria. Well, I didn't expect this when he talked about a daughter. <laughs> Night in bundle of claws. <laughs> Little bundle of claws, he said. <laughs> Maybe that should have been a clue. <laughs> Maybe, yes. <laughs> yes, he did indeed. Okay, hello. I bid thee Tujda get a hal. Be welcome, human. My library is yours, as I hope your friendship is mine. Um, who are you, madam? I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. Oh, I know what you're thinking. The likeness isn't exactly striking, is it? Not, not quite. When I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by my tribe, for I was found in a wicker basket floating past Sicile toward the sea. The fisherman who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. But praise be Amon Hor, dear Cecil was among the gathered crowd, and he took pity on the exiled infant the chance had put in his way. That is uh, very nice of him. He raised me like I was his own. This kindest of souls taught me the language of men, their customs and their letters. Thus, I became the city's librarian. A position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. Well, may I take books from Most the promising. library? Indeed you may. The wisdom I here hold is yours to peruse and even take with you. All I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Hmm. Well, thank you very much. What do you have for trade? The encyclopedia uh, for good and language of the fairy. Interesting. A book of forgotten language of the fairy. Might be something interesting, mayhap. Of course, not going to be able to afford it now, but... Uh, the book says, A life to the touch, the book is nonsense. at once warm, then gold. Mm, Some says it seems to reek of burnt paper. I know it by heart. And utters the faintest sense of orange blossoms pass from its pages. Intriguing. And then a he who smells it, volume 5, is also here. It's actually just one gold. I guess I'll buy it. <laughs> just because yeah. of that. I need something more okay. advanced. Is there no new book to bye be bye. discovered in this library? Uh, now we can take all the books. <laughs> yes, okay. Let me see about this who smelt it, volume 1, 5 first. He who smelt it. There's little more one can do with iron ore than turn it into an iron bar. Heat the ore and start molding it to a desired shape and size. Some say it's dwarven work and half the quality of good iron comes from dwarves' know-how. But one can't always sit around waiting for a shipment of the stuff. What nonsense. Hey. Is there no new book Princess to be discovered Buttercup in this library? Esmeralda does have a propensity for that all was pretty cheap, beauty, though. She? Yep. Uh, there's also He Who Smelled It, Volume no, this isn't the 7. I'm looking for. Fine. The Let's take that. And the first Fun if it floats Volume 2. Sure. Place this book here. A volume of poetry among novels. I <laughs> rack. What mayhem. Volume of poetry among po volume of something else to something else. Demon yes, very bad. Oh, there's a sc ah. scroll of summon fire Demon elemental Demon scroll. Demon That's interesting. Have you been picking any books yet? Too. No. I thought it would be best for you to pick them up. Fine enough. To say if you see something that I don't the see. Grant abundance. <laughs> grant abundance. Uh, uh, there's Adventurer's Field Guide Volume 5, mm, Top the of the Shell. Okay, yes. Good. 
I didn't see Nothing it. See through armor. For some reason, this also a proud a skull, but nonetheless, there's really a lot more there's books no here that I just cannot even pick up, but nonetheless. And also a blank air scroll, so the I'll take that. Then and there's that. A pirate's Most life book. Crackwing after crowd, a definite Second guide. Spear. What a find! What a find! But I guess, as I am a good person, I will really not be selling these books. This will be just something we read and uh, <laughs> then return to the library. Probably. There's philosophy of death here. Where are T? Okay. Um, where? Table. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can actually see it so that I could pick it up. Or is it in the desk inside? Not inside, on the table. Okay. I can't pick it up. If you can pick it up oh. so that you can send it to me. I can't see it really easily at least. So just send it to me then later. The scrolls I guess we can keep because they are kind of one-use items after all. But... Okay, let's see yeah. about the receipt books first of all. So, fun with fluids volume 4. Read, fun with fluids. Trudanes qualities are many and well documented for an adventure. It isn't wise to consume in the thick of battle, though recreational use is widely accepted among liberal circles, liberal circles even. No less significantly less widely spread, however, is that Trudane is best consumed from within a flask as the bodying process often brings out its finest features. No, this isn't the grimoire I'm looking so. for. The Pseudomonarchia Daemonum. Uh, <laughs> the first edition too. Most Let's throw it on there. The ground. <laughs> I'll throw it there. Wasn't that actually the one that I read? No, it wasn't even. There's a couple of these freaking things, so... Uh, it's a problem. Too many one fit fluids too, and then I get confused which one is the one that I read. Let's read yeah. this one. One with fluids. If you ever tried consuming a coapinia mushroom, you know well, uh, full well, uh, what manner of effect it will have. Most rebellion mushrooms have some sort of effect on the human body, and their essence can be squeezed into potions to enhance their effects. Combined in mushroom based potions have similar effects. So now that's read. And this was indeed the one that I already read, right? Yes. So that can be. Then place somewhere. Sure. Place it into that. <laughs> Just throwing them around the place. Then these two should be read. The Adventurous Field Guide Volume 4. The Adventurous Field Guide. Any old kitchen knife can be carved into a deadly dagger after the right amount of fire on my anvil. Superior dagger. Then there is the. Field Guide, Field Guide, Volume 5. Great. Now I'm not a lumberjack, but I can get a good strong stick out of any lock with my trusty axe whenever I'm in need of one. Some weird geezers have been asking for the food chips on the floor after I've chopped up some locks, and I just let them. I have no idea what to do with those. No, this is the grimoire I'm looking for. The sure, throw it there. <laughs> first edition too. And Most the third one gone? there, sure. Sometimes I think these books sprout little legs That's in the night. teleporter. No, Hot topics in Pyramid How to, interesting. Then there's the a heap who smelt it all on seven. I know it by heart. Did you know the great shoemaker, Master Couple, God rest his soul, used to be a swordsmith? Until his dying day, he was still using his horn and shoulder of his anvil to make shoes. Well, boots and the metal creeps, but still, talk about slicing bread with an axe. Handcrafted boots. Superior leather boots. I don't have no idea where you actually do get the crafting menu. Well, there is the craft, actually, when you look in the inventory, right on top of the items. Yeah. 
uh, track items into combining slots and press combine. The yeah, you probably are the one that will then be doing this, but Not interesting. Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? Esmeralda does have a propensity for all things naughty. I guess we will not be reading all of these. The rest are not um, books that are like uh, receipt books. So I think it's more sensible to read a little bit later, more, but at least I'm reading all of those here. Hmm, I wonder. There was one book, He Who Smells It, Volume 1, here, you didn't take it yet. Okay. Right? You could actually read it fine. By me. No, this isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. Is there no he Who Smells It, the quality of a proper sword has quite declined in recent Decades. Some blame a change in climate, others a change in the type and origin of iron reserves. I myself craft my own supplies from an iron bar and an anvil to ensure the maximum character of the weapon. Is there no new book to be discovered in this Good, good. I guess we have read enough then. Probably. And then. Let me ask you, Mayor, about your cat. I uh, had a good chat with her. What? Oh, it's you! What news? Uh, no, no news yet. I just, just want to talk about your cat. I met your pet, Maxine. Maxine? What in heaven's name are you? Oh, you mean the Mongol <laughs> who was skulking about the place? Uh, okay, well. I spent months trying to teach that worthless hound how to fetch. Okay. And it sat through every lesson looking at me as if I were an idiot. Man's best friend, my eye. It's not a dog. <laughs> you know. I've always been more fond of cats myself. <laughs> I was trying to talk about your cat, Maxine. <laughs> it is a cat. Where's that mongrel then? I have no idea. Okay. Tell me about Victoria, the Orc Librarian. My dear girl, my darling adopted daughter, my pride and joy. I introduced her to my library when she was a girl. She quickly proved that the preconceptions we humans hold of orcs as savage beasts are patently false. If you're looking for something special, just ask. She knows every book by heart. Papa's smart little cookie. <laughs> this smart little cookie, eh? Okay, yeah. well, I guess that's it. I shall take my leave on you. I that don't know how good of locked. a mayor he is right now. Yeah, he probably was really good, but he's uh, probably not the best anymore, to be completely honest with you. To be continued with Divinity Original Sin.